Hello guys, Rush here with a new Minecraft Redstone video. Today what I have for you is the world's first practical silent bud. I say practical because I know Cube Hamster made a silent uh, bud switch, but it was not practical because it was massive. But as you can see here, we got a 2 by 4 uh, very compact silent bud. So what makes it silent? Well, thanks to um, snapshots, uh, 13w07a which allows to have item hoppers and droppers we can create silent bud switches and this um, comparator is what's being updated right here and as you can see we have no noisy pistons going off uh, your output would obviously be somewhere around would be here you'd have to add a repeater if you had it come out from here but if you just wanted to invert it then you would just do it like that uh, gets updated. Some other things is if you want to make this faster, you can remove that middle part and ex just extend it out back into our dropper right here. Um, that makes it pretty a lot faster. Uh, some other things we can make this one wide just by replacing this torch here and bringing it down like this. If you didn't know, you can place items on uh, on item hoppers. So once again we can update that like that um, by adding a wall here this this is useful when it want, you want to add a wall here and then just extend that out like that so you can place a torch here it will update that right there um, just gonna set this up again really quick um, if you have your floor on top here, you can add, place a torch here, and it will update it. A very nice, and yeah. So that is the a silent bud switch. Okay, let's um, get on to actually how you make this, and then afterwards I will show you how it works and the science behind it. Okay, so what you will need is basically a building block. You'll need a, a one redstone comparator, redstone repeater obviously redstone a redstone torch you'll need a dropper and a hopper and then one junk item could be anything uh, you want um, but I'm just gonna use a fern because that's pretty that's a pretty good junk item so we start off by placing our dropper okay and then by crouching and then looking at our dropper we uh, right click so our hopper item hopper is facing our dropper um, from here, um, all you have to do is you add your comparator right there, torch at the end, uh, you'll add a repeater right here, block, and a redstone right there. Now right here, you add in your junk item, which is that right there, and there you go. You made yourself a silent bud switch. Now, let's get on to how this works. Okay, the way this is able to work is due to a little bit of a bug, kind of like uh, when 1.7.2 beta, or no, 1.7 beta came out in Minecraft, and you were able to update pistons diagonally. Uh, kind of the same thing with droppers and hoppers. I'm not sure if it's going to get fixed, so I'm not sure how reliable this is going to be um, in the future, but basically how this works is... First of all, when you take a comparator and put it uh, against an uh, item hopper and you add in an item, it will give out a signal strength like that. Okay? When we take out the item, no more signal strength. Now, item hoppers essentially, or item dis uh, droppers essentially, what they do is you put in an item and when you give the item dropper power it will transfer over the item to whatever it is uh, facing such as a chest jukebox for even furnaces anything okay so now when we direct the item hopper back into uh, the dropper normally it's supposed to transfer over just like that okay and even when we have our comparator it will detect that see if we add in an item just trying to get a good 
See, it detects that, but since there's no more item, it goes back to the dropper. Now, this is where it gets interesting, because if we add an item into the dropper, and we power that dropper, you see there's no more item inside the dropper here, but it is now in the item hopper. But this um, redstone comparator, comparator does not detect that. You must update it before it detects that change. And then once we undo this, the item is uh, now gone. And the, how, the reason for that is because... Um, if you look right here, just a quick example, I'll just get out a chest. Um, when we when you are powering an item hopper, um, it will not transfer over items until um, there's it doesn't have power. So essentially, what's happening here is when we send power to the dropper, it is also powering. Um, the item hopper right here locking its state and it doesn't detect a change until we update it so there you go that is how you make uh, one of these yeah you can also update it by toggling the state of the computer so it's pretty cool thanks for watching guys um, if you like videos like this be sure to check out my uh, channel and to subscribe thanks for watching and I will see you guys later